class. Tonight's math homework is on finding equivalent fractions. We've been finding um, fractions with shapes and on number lines. In this tonight's example, we're looking at using geometric shapes to identify fractions. So our directions here is to ask us to shade in the visual fraction to find the equivalent fraction. And remember, equivalent has the word equal in it, so it means finding two fractions that are equal to one another. So in the first example that they give us, they have a circle. The circle is broken into four equal parts, and so four is in our denominator for that fraction. One of those four parts is shaded here, and so we have a one in the numerator. So one out of the four parts is shaded. And now they've broken the circle into 12 equal parts, but they've shaded this group which exactly matches this over here um, as well. So if we look at our fraction here, it has a 12 on the, in the denominator because it's 12 equal parts, and one, two, three of them have been shaded, and so um, we have the fraction 3 twelfths. So 1 fourth is equivalent or equal to 3 twelfths, and they put our, exam our answer over here in this example. Let's look at number 1 together. Here they have a rectangle. It's got one, two, three parts, so there's a three in the denominator. One of those parts is shaded, so one of the three parts is shaded for this rectangle. One third is represented. So now they're asking us to shade in an equivalent amount over here on the right. So if you look closely, you can see that each of these larger pieces has been split in half. It's been divided into two. So I shaded in two equal parts down here at the bottom. So to find the equivalent fraction, we always start with the denominator. How many pieces is that one whole broken into equally? So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's my denominator. Two are shaded. That's my numerator. So two out of those six parts has been shaded. So one-third is equivalent to two-sixths. If you follow those steps for the rest of this paper, I think you will find it to be very helpful. The strategy should work no matter what the shape, no matter what's shaded. Good luck and have fun tonight.